is everybody but he has found a heartbeat now that is a remarkable achievement for me today there is a kudu albeit only mm, two-thirds of a kudu the rest of him hiding behind a bush now there are two kudu in, in fact there are a few of them in here and a warthog David is a warthog running through the bush there terrifying the wits out of the kudu stop dead you can see very nice picture there of the back end and the front end <laughs> Here come the kudu out into the open, magnificent spiral horned antelope. The largest that we get here. I think they're rather splendid. And I always thought one of the most interesting things about kudu is that the males apparently live only half the length of time that the females do. And that's because they fight so much over ladies. Now the females can live for up to 14 years. The males normally not longer than seven. And that's because they do fight and also because of those big horns of theirs. Now can you imagine, they're browsers of course, so they live in thick bush. Can you imagine trying to get away from a lion chasing you through thick bush if you had horns like that? Be almost impossible so what they have to do is they run with their horns flat back against the back of their, their necks and it means that they can't really see where they're going which again I think is quite amusing so they do get taken out quite a lot that's so the theory goes when I think practically though of how many kudu I've seen being eaten by lions I have to say it's not that many Now, oh, Davy, if you just go, can you see the female there to the left-hand side? No, the left of that. There we are. She's looking very intently into the bush there, and she has been for the last little while. Now, if there was something there, she would alarm call, and it goes, oh, it's like a sort of oh, horse bark. But she's not doing that. Right, Byron's got some elephants. Apparently he'd like to show them to you immediately.